there. Fed dot there. She did. Yeah. Is it running? Yes. Okay. okay. So, I'm doing a tutorial on how to clean rugae skin for Purdue syndrome patients. Um, Brian has his on his feet, so that's what I'm cleaning today. First, what we're going to go over is the tools that you're going to need. First, you're going to need a headlamp. This is optional. I find it makes it work. It makes it infinitely easier. You look a little silly, but it's worth it. Then, there we go. I can put it down if you want. No. Point down here. You have tweezers. The pointier, the better. So the fine nose tweezers work best. Hydrogen peroxide. You can use a medicine cup or any kind of cup that you want to. Just put some in there. It's to make sure everything's sterile because rugae skin is very sensitive. And the last thing you need is something to get infected. You can also use rubbing alcohol. I just prefer hydrogen peroxide because if, it, if there is an open wound, it doesn't cause any pain. Um, next, this is actually a dentist cleaning tool. You can find them at Walmart or um, Target or anywhere, even a CVS. Usually it comes with one like this, and then there's another one that's just like the dentist pick. Um, this works great because it's flat, and it will get the edge of um, the inside of the folds. Then, of course, you have Q-tips and Neosporin or an antibacterial um, gel or cream. That you only need to use if there's evidence of a tear or infection. So, come over here, little one. Okay. It's also helpful <coughs> to have tissues and for, um, for cleanup. So, first you start by, you dip your tools in the hydrogen peroxide. I do it afterwards, too, just in case. And then, come on up here, you're going to... Close up, okay, kiddo? Okay. Um, you have to be very gentle because this is very sensitive skin. Um, you'll see his feet twitching because it's not the most comfortable thing. Um, best suggestion is to get it eye level. Um, so he's laying on the bed and I'm sitting on the floor. So the object is to separate the folds as gently as you can and look for anything like that right there. Um, anything between the folds. So. Same, you can just keep it on my foot. Yeah. Okay. So what you need to do is pull out anything you find in the folds carefully. Um, you'll find all kinds of delicious things, especially if you've never done it before. Um, cleaning it like this not only helps with, you know, getting just gross things out, but it helps with smell. I know when I first did this, Brian's feet stank to high heaven. They're not roses still, but they uh, definitely are better than they used to be. Well, my head was in the way. My head was in the way. It is a time-consuming process. Um, with the flat one, with the dental tool, a lot of times there will be yeast or um, fungus. And so using this tool, if you run it along the edge against the skin, gently, I might add, it pulls off... Can you see the film on there? The yellowy... Kind of. Oh, this will do it. It pulls off fungus and buildup. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> out of the folds that uh, tweezers are not very good at getting because it's not really solid, it's just more of a buildup. No? Listen to whoever you're doing, because they're going to know if something's it's going... It's very sharp right there. It's sharp? Yeah. That's because you have excess skin. Um, wash your hands before and after. Don't try and... Don't use just hand sanitizer before and after completely. 
Um, basically, it's a surgical procedure. Um, I treat in between his folds as open wounds, always. Because a lot of times, you will come across something that is an open wound. Which is why you need to make sure everything is sterile as best you can. And it's just a matter of being gentle. Um, again, if, if someone is doing this for you, don't hesitate to tell them if it hurts. But keep in mind, the only way it's going to get clean hey, is if it might hurt a little bit. Because separating the folds a lot of times, especially the very first time, I'm in, my, I'm in the way, I'm sorry. Especially the very first time can be kind of painful because no one's ever gone in there before. Um, a lot of times you will find significant, especially when it's on the feet, significant sock lint. If you've ever pulled sock lint from between your toes, think of it about 50 times worse. Because you got to figure, it's been in there for who knows how long. And it's gone through showers, and it's gone through sweat, and it's gone through all kinds of yummy things. Next, over here, Q-tips, a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, and carefully run it between the cracks. This will help purge any fungus or yeast that you were unable to get. Yeah, make sure it's pointing up, honey. Of course, it's going to have little bubbles. So after you run it through, I run it through all of his foot, and then I go back with a dry one to clean out the bubbles and um, debris. It's never pleasant. So I'm sure you can see his feet twitching. It is not a pleasant experience, and it doesn't smell that great either. So if you're doing this, God bless you. Dry Q-tip. Just go the same places that you did. You're going to need several dry Q-tips. See, I found a yummy little spot there. Last but not least, if you find any spots that are torn or irritated, I know where one is on you. Okay. Um, Neosporin Q-tip. Just put a little bit. You do not need any kind of excess because Excess in the folds of rugae skin can be dangerous. It may be an antibiotic or an antibacterial, sorry. But any kind of moisture is no good. So I'm going to borrow this kiddo. That was my hand. So. Okay, Samantha. I need you to hold it right there, okay? In here, turn it this way. There's a spot right in here. It's a little red and irritated. Um, this is a common spot for Brian's foot. You'll learn the spots that have issues. 
that do and do not have issues, you'll know sorry, where you need to go <coughs> to get things, but this is a common spot for Brian that gets irritated. So, alright, you can point it at me. That's the basics for cleaning Rugay skin. It doesn't matter whether it's feet, underarm, hand, wrist, I don't know where else it can be. It's the same procedure, it still is delicate on all of them.